Hello, friends. Welcome back to Block Bytes. Um, 2023 saw a massive surge in layer two blockchains built on Ethereum. The main problem all these chains address is the low transaction speed on uh, the blockchain. The whole point behind all these layer twos is that they take the burden of execution and in some cases data availability away from Ethereum. This is an indirect way in which Ethereum can be scaled up uh, to handle additional traffic. Of course, we also know that Ethereum itself is implementing changes uh, like protodank sharding to help these layer twos up on, on top of that. However, a new, more direct approach has recently gained attention. It is called parallel EVMs. I want to give a shout out to Hitesh Malviya on X, whose post on this topic piqued my interest and led to this video. Let's dive in. A VM or virtual machine is at the heart of the blockchain. It is that piece of software that actually processes transactions on the blockchain. This software is called the EVM on Ethereum and the SVM on Solana. Now, the EVM on Ethereum processes transactions serially one at a time. Parallelization will allow it to process multiple transactions simultaneously. This way, the network can process more transactions in less time and reduced congestion and fees. Since the EVM is open source, it can be modified to support parallel processing. However, this does not mean Ethereum will also update its EVM. As a matter of fact, it is unlikely to happen as the project itself is working on other ways of reducing fees and congestion. Instead, we will see new layer ones that are built using parallel EVM. Unlike the EVM, the SVM already supports parallel processing, which is one of the reasons why Solana has such low fees and high speeds. Two main projects implementing parallel EVM are Say and Monad. Let's look at these individually, starting with Say. Say is an alternate L1 blockchain that was created with the trading of digital assets in mind. It has a dual turbo consensus, native order matching engine, and parallel transaction processing capabilities. Transaction parallelization allows Say to process transactions simultaneously rather than sequentially. Apart from this, Say also implements Solana's local fee market called market-based parallelization. This brings further parallelization as transactions from different markets are processed in parallel. These innovations and the unique twin turbo consensus model in Say make it stand apart from other layer one blockchains. From an applications perspective, Say has been optimized for trading use cases like DEXs, derivatives, marketplaces, etc. According to a research report by Reflexivity Research, Say has focused solely on asset trading. It has optimized every layer in its stack for this particular use case. Now let's talk about Monad. Monad is another EVM compatible layer one, which is similar to Say. Just like say it too has transaction level parallelization. In Monad, like say, transactions are optimistically executed, meaning that one transaction can begin executing without waiting for the previous one to finish. Say is already on the main net, whereas Monad has yet to launch its test net. Say can achieve up to 20,000 orders per second with a 30 millisecond trade time to finality, which is better than Solana's 400 milliseconds. In contrast, Monad has seen 10,000 transactions per second and has a one second time to finality. I do not trust these TPS numbers, so I take these with a pinch of salt. Ultimately, how well the chain does with increased activity over time 
matters. Okay, now that we have a basic understanding of parallel EVM and the two main projects in this space, Let's compare them side by side to get some more insights. Since Monad has yet to release its testnet, there is no information about its ecosystem and developer activity. So we will look at Say's. Say has a section on its website that lists all the apps on the blockchain. As both chains have been designed with high frequency trading in mind, it would be interesting to see how DEXs on these chains perform and have to head. Let's look at developer activity. I found this graph on sentiment for say that shows the developer activity. On average, say has around 400 active developers working on it. You can also find developer information on GitHub for say. Here you can see the number of contribution to the say public database or other code base, which is fairly consistent. Let's look at tokenomics now. Say has a fixed token supply of 10 billion tokens of which 2.3 are already in circulation. Since it is a new token, there is no exact inf inflation rate. Uh, the token distribution is shown here in the chart. 20% of all tokens went to its initial investors. The SAY token is a utility token used within the ecosystem as the currency for fees and rewards. Uh, in the future, the token holders can also take part in governance activities. So it is a typical cryptocurrency with a fixed supply. As for MON, the token for Monad, no tokenomics information is currently available. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Parallel EVMs are the next big paradigm in innovation in the crypto space. Parallel EVMs bring the power of parallel processing to the EVM, keeping compatibility with the most significant crypto ecosystem but with better speeds and scalability. The top two projects are Say and Monad. Say is better compared with when compared with Monad on the TPS and time to finality metric. Say is ahead in the race as it has already, it is already on mainnet and plans to release its version two in 2024, whereas Monad has yet to release its first testnet. Since Say is already in mainnet, it uh, has a decent ecosystem of dApps, including DEXs, wallet integration, marketplaces, and more. All right, I hope you got a basic overview of parallel EVM and what to expect going forward. There is actually a lot more happening when it comes to parallelizations of, on the EVM. This will be a hot topic, one that will probably remain prominent throughout the year. Hope you like this video, do like and share, and I will see you next time with another fresh bite.